I had a Commodore 64 as a kid and I played around with it and I always enjoyed it, but it was never something I thought I would do as a career. I enjoyed math and statistics and certainly biology, but I just wanted to be a doctor. I went to the University of Florida for undergrad and then University of South Florida for medical school. There was a surgeon there. He taught the fourth year students in this thing called medical informatics. And I thought, wow, there's a field at this intersection of computers and healthcare, that's kind of cool. I thought, well, if I can find an internal medicine program that is excellent, that also happens to be a place where they teach medical informatics, well, that would be great. And one of the places I looked at and ultimately went to for residency was Oregon Health Sciences. And I can remember walking into Bill Hirsch's uh, office. He was leading the department at the time, as he still does, and uh, went behind the ears intern saying, hey, you know, I, I really think I'm interested in, in this area and I'd like to work with you. He was very supportive and said, well, you know, yeah, this is an area that is growing and, and we'd love to have you. So while I had to focus primarily on my residency and, and continue my training there, almost from the beginning I was interacting with the informatics group there in Oregon and it, it really did shape, uh, at that point, the rest of my career. They were going through this transition at the time from paper-based documentation to computer-based documentation. And that led to my study that ultimately I published as one of my first and still one of my more highly cited papers on computer-based documentation. I went to the University of Cincinnati, which is where I got my first faculty position, and I was working there as a rheumatologist who was dabbling in informatics. And uh, lo and behold, four months after my arrival there, I was awarded my first career development award from the National Library of Medicine. And so I remember I approached the dean at that time after having been there a couple of years and said, I really think we should start a center for health informatics within this institute uh, because we really need a home. And he said, wonderful, uh, go put together a business plan and uh, come back to me with that and, and, and then we'll talk about funding it. And I said, great. And I walked out of the room and I remember thinking, what's a business plan? And so we established the Center for Health Informatics within the Institute for the Study of Health, and we grew that in collaboration with our colleagues at the Children's Hospital. I stayed in Cincinnati for about seven years, uh, and then an opportunity came up to be the next president and CEO of the Regan Street Institute. I knew about it as an informatics institute because the Center for Biomedical Informatics within the institute was really the thing that, that had been on my radar screen as an informatician. I thought, that's what I want to lead. Altogether, I, it just really was a great fit and it continues to be a really exciting place. So I often talk to folks in medical school, nursing school, or, or people coming up through engineering and others that are thinking about this domain, and they say, well, you know, what kind of a career could I have? And the answer is so many. I mean, there's, it's, it's just so wide and varied what one can do. As I talk to students today, there's a few things I tend to emphasize. One is take every opportunity that comes at you that you find interesting to learn and explore. Make sure that you're learning as much as you can as you're going about these different disciplines. And then for those that are coming up from a more of an engineering or computer science or, or data science background, I would encourage you to take opportunities to go and do some work in the healthcare arena. Because there are still a lot of challenges and a lot of problems in the healthcare system. And I think it's our obligation and actually an exciting opportunity for us to work at fixing those.